Hi everyone. I'm gonna do some decluttering today because it's getting me down. I mean, the wardrobe, it doesn't, it doesn't open <laughs> properly. I want to change over things for spring. So at the minute I have this wardrobe. I've got the cupboard in there that's got quite a lot of blog stuff. And then I've got a little chest of drawers that's got like my underwear, t-shirts, things like that. So I don't have that much storage. I know that sounds like quite a lot, but then this is when I'm comparing it to like influencers who've got like a full wardrobe set up in a room, which oh, that would be a dream. It's all crammed in here and that includes like all my winter stuff. There's everything in this room. So it's a bit chaotic at the minute and I want to take out some of the winter stuff, get like a spring sort of capsule wardrobe going. So these are all stuff that I'm gonna keep to wear now. Like these trousers from Zara. I mean, I ain't got anywhere to wear them at the minute, but they're so nice. Very pretty. How nice is this little dress? This is one from Brandy Melville, which I don't really get a chance to shop at much because they don't have shops up our way. But they're like the perfect little summer wrap dress. So I'm hoping I do get to London at some point. This some I mean, I'm not gonna. <laughs> See these now, I don't think I'm gonna wear those. So I didn't wear that jacket as much as what I planned because we sort of got shut in quite quick. Um, but it's the one from Zara and I'll definitely wear that again next year, I think. Pink blazer, I do love, but I don't wear it that often. But I think it's one of those pieces that you're just gonna want a pink blazer at some point. <laughs> I don't know, I just like it and I think the time you want a pink blazer you're going to think why did I chuck that bloody pink blazer? Right, we're getting a winter and summer pile I would say. Stuff like this, I had this in a picture about two years ago, but I just love it. And then maybe one day I will wear it again. I keep a lot of things, like I wore this for a Christmas party and I want to wear it again for a Christmas party but I don't really know when. I feel like every wardrobe's just got like random boxes. And you know you're probably never going to need them, but just in case. So if I had like a winter storage place that was easy to get to, I'd just keep all this in there. But I feel like the only storage places we've got in our house are not easy to get to. So you put them in and then you just never use them again. Right, that's everything out of there. That's the wintry pile. This is the spring pile. I'm gonna put all my winter coats in these. These are just off Amazon. Um, they are quite good for vacuuming up your coat. That's the first one zipped up. There was a lot of swearing involved to doing that. Um, I'm gonna try and put a lot of the winter stuff into these so that I can have them hung up out of the way and this is the next project because I desperately want to get this painted I know it's been done months and I haven't got around to painting it so I'm gonna vacuum this one up I'm hoping this is gonna be life-changing so this is a little vacuum thing because if like me your hoover attachment doesn't fit that well it's a right pain trying to vacuum these so I'm gonna give it a go with this doesn't fit. Don't fit. <laughs> We've got one bag vacuumed. I'm just about to vacuum another, but I've found some nice dresses that I'm going to pop in there. Just for like special occasions, should I ever get invited anywhere fancy. I've got this one from Lulu's. So this is just like a navy one. I'll try and insert like a picture of it or something. It's such a weighty dress. And I just think if I went to like a nice fancy barbecue, that would be lovely. But they are quite like, they take up quite a bit of space. I've also got this one. I think it's from French Connection. No, it's from m &S. I had this for like a blog job quite a while back. And it's such a pretty like sparkly dress. I just can't bear to part with it. This is a little in style play suit from Laura Jade Stone's collection and I love it. Again, think it would be perfect for summer occasions. I might keep that one out actually to wear 
because I'm trying to wear like some nicer bits at home and jumpsuit's quite comfy. This orange set I bought, oh, they've all got like sentimental attachments I think. I bought this for New York because I wanted to have something like fancy and I don't know, a bit fashiony. So it's from Never Fully Dressed. It's like an orange navy two piece. It does look lovely on, it's like quite a wild colour but it's got the wraparound skirt and then the shirt to go with it. But I am going to pack that one away just because I think that one's a bit more wintry anyway. So these are going to go in this bag and then hopefully I can start putting some of the stuff that I'm keeping out away. Okay, this weird like udder contraption is crap. <laughs> I think I'd do it quicker just sucking it out myself. Fighting a losing battle here, aren't we? It's a bit of a mess. I am part way through doing my little wardrobe clear out. I'm just putting some socks on because I've got change. We're going to go for a walk and because I'm clearing out all my clothes and finding all the nice things, I've put on a nice dress to do my walk and I'm going to stick a big jumper over it and wear trainers with it. I just thought it would be nice to wear a nice little dress. Can I even show you? Look. It's that one from H&M. And I really wanted to wear it for like, oh my god, my knees in every video. I really wanted to wear it for something, I don't know, spring-like. So instead, I'm just going to wear it for my walk this evening and then we're going to come back. I'll have to continue putting away some of this rubbish, but hopefully I am going to get onto that wardrobe as well over the weekend. Then I can clear that and paint it. And we're going to come back and drink loads of wine once we've done that. Yay! make a start on this cupboard because I really want to get it painted at some point. I've got really nice tiles in there and stuff like that and it's just covered up with bags of clothes. This is where I want to have like my little blogging cupboard as well so I want to have all like deliveries in there you know like the clothes that I've been sent or Coco's just coming along. So any clothes that I've got due to like post or my cameras things like that but I need to get it sorted first before I do any kind of nice little organisational stuff. I'm going to show you my wardrobe. It's not a great improvement, but I will show you where I put bits, just so it's a bit tidier now. So this is how it looks now. I mean, this is tidy for me, so I'm happy with this. It's got all my day-to-day -day stuff in here, and it's colour coordinators, so that makes me happy. Um, just sort of like blazers, little dresses, spring stuff mainly. And then I've got my denim. I love this. I've not gone through and sort of chucked out yet, but at least it's tidy. I've got my black denim at the back, blue denim here, tops are a bit of a mess. I've still got to do that. And then this wardrobe, this is all like my dressy stuff and the darker bits, nice like fancy stuff. So I've got a few of those dresses. I love this one. It's like the lightest material. I think it was from Lulu's. All the winter stuff. I vacuum packed in these. So these are really handy. I got them from Amazon and I'll link them below. They do take up quite a bit of space, but I haven't really got anywhere else to put winter stuff. We haven't got like a separate storage area. So they're there. And then this stuff is all like little bralettes, little mesh tops. And at the bottom, this ugly bag is full of gym stuff because I just dragged that out. It's a bit tidier than it was. So that's a start. things into carriers for now so DIY stuff will all go in one there's more in here than I thought oh this makes me sad I ordered this like about a week before corona properly went wild it's a festival cape because I was just about starting to think about all the festival fashion stuff and to be honest, I was starting to dread it because a bit like Halloween, it can be quite messy and chaotic. But this is a cape. How nice would that have been? Oh, never mind. This is our weighted blanket. 
which we do love we've just forgot about it because it's been a bit warmer dan loves it it's really good if you get like stressed and anxious and it like holds you down so this is my little cupboard now we're in there pop the light on it's quite big isn't it so I'm pretty happy with the tiles we had these done a good while back now and the plan was to get it all painted and shelves and stuff but obviously with what's been going on we just don't have a chance the plan is to put shelves there and maybe there and then perhaps have like baskets or something down here I even thought about putting like a little mirror here so that you could walk in I mean it's not huge but so you could have it like a little walk-in space well, on to vacuuming. I've got another coat to put away. This is my in the style ones. So this is from my collection. I'm going to vacuum it up for next year because it's just a big, cosy teddy coat. So I'll definitely wear it again next year. So that is my winter coat, which was huge. I mean, I know it's not revolutionary showing you vacuum pack stuff, but. I'm going to stick that in my wardrobe over there so it's tucked out of the way and then it's ready for next year. Right, we're mostly done. I mean it doesn't look like it because I've still got loads of bags, some bits to go down in the cellar, some bits to go in Depop, some bits to go to Chariot A when I can get to a charity shop and hopefully tomorrow I'm going to get on to painting that cupboard and we'll finish off with that. <laughs> bit more dishevelled today because we're doing the DIY bits so I'm just gonna sort of finish off the weekend painting this cupboard making it look a bit brighter and yeah hopefully it will tart it up a bit <laughs> it's getting there I think I'll just quickly show you what I sort of like kind of things I imagine in there I'm gonna get some little baskets maybe something like this now I know that looks kind of messy but I just think if I have it like too closed in I don't use it like I can't get to stuff so with shelves around here maybe with some similar baskets on I like it I'm going to finish it there, looking 103 and covered in paint, but I've given up on DIY stuff for the weekend and tidying and cleaning and whatnot. Next week I should have, hopefully, a homeware haul, because I've ordered some bits. Obviously we're limited what we can be doing on the house at the minute, but stuck in the house and feeling like you want to do loads of things. So I've bought some new light accessories, so hopefully next week will be a homeware haul. I know this one was kind of a mishmash of me cleaning, but I'm hoping the sort of everyday stuff is comforting in some way for people to just see people doing everyday things and sort of pottering about at home. I know I quite like watching people just doing the little day-to-day -day activities, like I find it quite, I don't know, just nice, something you can watch with a cup of tea. But yeah, I'm gonna get off, go for my walk because Stan's probably downstairs waiting for me. <laughs> so I will see you all soon. Bye!